Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pick up or move a gravitational anomaly. Uh, gravitational anomalies can be found on several of the different planes, such as the hunting dimension, uh, the nether, or in uh, lost cities. Uh, Twilight Force. Uh, these are used to make one of the types of fusion reactors from the Matter Overdrive mod, um, but they don't appear in the overworld. So if you were wanting to have one and bring one back, there's a special process that's needed in order to gather that. Um, now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit the subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. And a special thank to the ODG community for helping me work out this process. So there's a few things that we're going to need. So right here, uh, we're going to start by making a variable card. We're going to need several of these. A variable card is just a piece of paper surrounded by crystallized mineral chunks. We're also going to need an item interface. We'll need a couple of these. And that's going to be five met crystallized mineral chunks and a shulker box of any color. Next, we're going to need to make an input variable transformer. And that's going to be a couple of those variable cards we made, two more crystallized mineral chunk, and a sticky piston. We're also going to need an item importer. And that's going to be one of the item interfaces we've already made, and one of those input variable transformers we just made. We're also going to need a logic director, which is going to be six crystallized coarse chunk, two crystallized mineral chunk, and a diamond. And then to make an solid block importer is going to be a diamond pickaxe, an item importer, and a logic director. So those last couple of components we just made all build up to make this one component. And then we're going to need also at least one logic cable, which is six more crystallized mineral chunk, two sticks, and a redstone. So we're going to need to actually make the process work. We're going to need one of the world block importers, one of the item interfaces, one of the logic cables, one of the variable cards, and one chest of any type. Next, we're going to need a gravitational anomaly. Now, I've already moved one to the overworld. I'm in creative, so I was able to just drop one down. But this is what they look like, and you can find them all over those other um, dimensions that I discussed of. Now, they do have a gravitational pull. When you get close to them, they will suck you in, and if you hit them, they will teleport you to somewhere in the near-round area. Um, how far and such can depend on the strength of that particular gravitational anomaly. Now, because I'm in creative, there is no pull for me. But the pull can be a very big challenge when trying to do this process or any work around a gravitational anomaly. Um, there is a ability that you can um, add if you've turned into an android, which will eliminate that gravitational pull. We do recommend doing that first before messing with this, because you can always remove the Android if you don't want to use it later, uh, once you have that ability. But you can also build around the gravitational, which I'll show here in a minute, as a way of kind of buffering yourself. So the first thing we're going to need is that world block importer. Now that is literally going to just be attached right to the anomaly. As you can see, the anomaly has a space. Not everything will connect to it. Normally, it's going to pull most items in and destroy them. But if you right click, side of your anomaly, it's going to go ahead and put that right there. Now the next thing we need to put is going to be a chest. So if you take a chest and you drop it, you're going to see it's going to leave a space in there, and that's okay. We need that space to exist. The next part is going to be our logic cable. Now, the order that I'm putting these in are very important, because if you put the logic cable in before you do the chest and the item interface, many times they are not going to connect in the sequence that you need. So I recommend putting the chest second, then we're going to right click on our world block importer to add our logic cable, and then the next thing we're going to add is going to be our item interface, and we're going to add that between the logic cable and the chest. And if it goes through correctly, it's going to go like this. Now, if your interface is above or beneath, then your logic cable is going to turn in an L shape or on a bend, and it's not going to connect with the chest. It needs to make sure that it's fully connected in this order. So once you have them set up like this, you're pretty much done. Next, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on that item interface. You can see there's a lot of different items there that you can look at. And we're going to click on our world block importer. Now, 
All of these items here for what we're doing today, you do not have to mess with this. These will work for different things. The important steps are going to be right here in the world block importer. This is where we're going to need our variable card. So you can see there are different abilities, things to do, pick up item blocks, predictable, pick up item blocks, so on and so forth. We're going to take that variable card and we're going to put it in the first slot, which is pick up all item blocks. And you notice that the sound just stopped. When I exit out of the menu, gravitational anomaly is gone. When I open up the chest, it's right there. Now you can pick it up, just like any item, put it in your inventory, and you can take it to back to your overworld or wherever you want to go, and then you can set it back out into space in order to build your reactor or whatever it is you're looking to do with it. Now, when you're going to set it back down, you see I'm right-clicking, nothing is happening. You can't just set it in open space. So when you are ready to set it down, you're going to need to have some type of platform underneath of it, a block of some kind, uh, just a piece of cobblestone will work. Um, and you can always break the cobblestone, or more likely, it's just going to get pulled inside of the anomaly anyways and destroyed. Um, but to set it back out in space, you do have to set it on a component. Just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and set it on top of this little platform that I built here. I'm going to set it down. And there you go. Like I said, it automatically pulled those torches in because at its current strength level, uh, it's not strong enough to pull in these wood blocks. Okay. So that's really all the steps that are involved with picking up and moving a gravitational anomaly from one location to another. Let's head back over here. And once you have that gravitational anomaly, you can take it to where it's going to be more convenient for you to build your reactor or the item that you're trying to make. Um, but that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about this or any of my other tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I possibly can, as well as um, any recommendations or suggestions you have for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. On the bottom of the homepage is a place to directly submit requests or feedback via email, and you can do that anonymously if you'd like to send something directly. My website, you can also find links to all my videos, social media accounts, streaming schedules, and other useful information. So I do recommend checking it out. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.